Hello everybody. Welcome to Dr. Samuel Math videos. I am Dr. Samuel. And we are continuing in this video with simplification of algebraic expression with brackets. But today we are going to look at how we multiply expressions in two brackets together. Well, you'll see what I mean when we look at the examples. It will be different from the last set of examples that we did. So let's go. So look at these first three examples. In number one, we have x plus 2 in a bracket. And next to it, you have x plus 5 in another bracket. It means we are multiplying x plus 2 as the first bracket by x plus 5 in the second bracket. The basic rule here is that any time you have that situation, you multiply each term in the first bracket by each term in the second bracket. So let us see what you're going to get here. If we multiply x, the first term in the first bracket, by x, the first term in the second bracket, x times x is x squared. Then we multiply x in the first bracket, the same first term, but this time by the second term in the second bracket. And x times plus 5 is a plus 5x. So now we move to the second term in the first bracket. We multiply the second term by the first term in the second bracket. So a plus 2 times x is a plus 2x. And then the second term in the first bracket by the second term in the second bracket. And a plus 2 times a plus 5 is a plus 10. And we are not finished yet because we can add like terms here. The like terms 5x and 2x. 5x plus 2x is 7x. So the x squared will go down. Then we have the plus 7x. And then a plus 10. It can't be simplified further. And so that is the answer. And that is how we multiply brackets. But as usual, pay attention when you have negative signs and how we multiply these signs. So let's go to number two. X times X is X squared. Then x in the first bracket times minus 2, a plus times a minus is a minus. So you're going to get minus 2x. Then you go to the plus 3, plus 3 times x in the second bracket, a plus times a plus is a plus. So is a plus 3x and plus 3 times a minus 2, a plus times a minus is a minus, and 3 times 2 is 6. You can add the x's. So we have the x squared, and minus 2x plus 3x, we subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number. So that is a plus, and 3 minus 2 is 1, and 1x, don't put the 1, you just put the x. And then you have a negative 6. And that's the answer. Let's go to number 3. 
x times x is x squared. Then x times a negative 1 is a negative 1x. But negative 1x is just minus x. Then we go to the minus 7. Minus 7 times x is minus 7x. And then minus 7 times minus 1, a minus times a minus is a plus, and 7 times 1 is 7. So we have x squared minus x minus 7x. We have the same sign to add. So we add and keep the sign minus and 1x plus 7x, 8x. plus 7. And that is the answer. Let's move on to the next set of examples. Number 4. 2x times 3x. 2 times 3 is 6. x times x is x squared. So 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times a minus 2, a plus times a minus is a minus, and 2x times 2 is 4x. Then we go to the plus 3. Plus 3 times 3x is a plus 9x. And plus 3 times minus 2, that is a negative. 3 times 2 is 6. You add the x's, so we'll get 6x squared minus 4x plus 9x. We have unlike signs to add, so we subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number, which is 9x. So 9 minus 4 is 5x. And then minus 6. That is the answer. Number five, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Then 2x times minus y is a minus, a plus times a minus is a minus 2xy, x times y is xy. Then we go to the minus y. Minus y times 2x, and that is minus 2xy. Remember, put it in alphabetical order when you have two letters like this together. And then a minus y times a minus y is a plus y squared. We add the xy's, they are like terms. So we will have the 4x squared. Minus 2xy minus 2xy is a negative 4xy. The same sign, so you add and keep the sign. And then you have the plus y squared. And you can simplify further. So that is the answer. Let's go to number six. Note it looks like number five, except that you have 2x plus y times 2x minus y. Let's see what you get here. 2x times 2x is 4x squared, as before. But then 2x times minus y is a minus 2xy. Then go to the plus y now. Plus y times 2x is plus 2xy. And then plus y times minus y is minus y squared. And that equals 4x squared 
but minus 2xy plus 2xy, you have unlike sign, so add, so you subtract, and you get 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. So don't put on anything. And then you have minus y squared. Now, this is important. We'll come back to it later on. This is what you call different of two perfect squares. We'll come back to it later on. In fact, all of these expressions here are what you call quadratic expressions, which you're going to be doing in more detail later on. Let's go on to the last set of examples. Now look at these examples here. Number seven, you have a plus four in the bracket, but then you're squaring it. Remember, squaring something means multiplying it by itself. So a plus four all squared can be written as a plus four times a plus four. And we multiply as before, a times a is a squared. A times plus four is plus four a. Then plus four times a is plus four a. And plus four times plus four is a plus 16. So the answer will be a squared. 4a plus 4a is a plus 8a and plus 16. And that is the answer. Let's go to number 8. 3x minus 1 all squared can be written as 3x minus 1 times 3x minus 1. 3x times 3x is 9x squared, then 3x times a negative 1 is negative 3x, and then go to the second term in the first bracket, minus 1 times 3x is minus 3x, and then minus 1 times a minus 1 is a plus one. And so the answer will be 9x squared minus 3x minus 3x, same sign, so add and keep the sign. You will get minus 6x plus one. That's it. Answer. Finally, we have a little one question that's a bit more complicated but it's the same thing let's proceed as i showed you a while i showed you before 5x minus 2 squared is 5x minus 2 times 5x minus 2 minus x minus 1 squared this is x minus 1 times x minus 1. Let's do the first two brackets. I'm first, so 5x times 5x is 25x squared. 5x times a minus 2 is a minus 10 x then minus 2 times 5x is also minus 10x and minus 2 times a minus 2 is a plus 4 let's go to the second one you have a negative sign now the negative sign multiply um subtracts the whole product and that means I don't put that answer in a bracket. So be careful with this. The whole thing must go in a bracket. So you can take away everything. X times X is X squared. 
x times minus 1 minus x then minus 1 times x is another minus x and minus 1 times a minus 1 is a plus 1. So now we just simplify this expression. 25x squared minus 10x minus 10x, same sign, so we add and keep the sign. So it's minus 20x. Then you have the plus 4. And you are taking away what's in the bracket here. So all the signs will change. You have minus x squared. Minus, minus x is a plus x. Minus, then minus x again is a plus x. And minus plus 1, that's a negative 1. And so, last simplification, 25x squared here, and you have minus x squared here. 25 minus 1 is 24. So that's 24x squared. Then you have a minus 20x here and a, and a plus x here and a plus x here. x plus x is 2x and minus 20x plus 2x. You subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number. So that's minus 18x. And finally, you have plus 4 minus 1, which is a plus 3. And that is the answer. So that's it for this video. We'll continue with algebra next time. We are moving on now to fractions, simpl simplification of algebraic fractions, fractions involving algebraic terms. If you like this video, Please subscribe to my channel, press the button below. You can also like or share the video. I will see you all in the next video.